Today I'd like to look at creating a Nexus patch um, from the very beginning. And this is my tribute to Fisynth who came up with this elegant image of interconnected banana cables which has always sparked my imagination, piqued my curiosity, and so elegantly pointed out that you can take a single control voltage or audio signal multiplex it this way and send each individual uh, cable to be processed or used however you'd like to lots of different modules. So check out Fisynth's uh, Surge videos. They're awesome. I'll put a link in the description here on this YouTube page. Okay, well, let's get started. Uh, the Nexus patch I'm talking about is uh, similar to this, which was part of my uh, Surge Beat Play patch uh, posted a few days ago. Uh, basically, we're using a dual universal slope generator. We're going to cycle it and then take triggers out to go to different places. We'll also be taking the CV out. Uh, we'll have lots of fun. Okay, uh, this will be probably longer than my usual two-minute videos, so sit back and relax. Let's get started. First, we'll start by cycling the dual universal slope generator, and we can hear what that sounds like by taking trigger out and going to an audio mixer. It's a series of clicks. Change the speed of the clicks. If we take it fast enough, it goes into the audio range, of course. And by adjusting the rise, we get different uh, timbres of clicks. And we're back to where we started from. Now we can take this same uh, trigger out and in the phi synth model and I'm going to take that out and put it into the variable Q trigger in gains all the way down frequencies at about 10 o'clock and uh, I'll come out of the band pass and into our audio mixer now we have our click and our sort of resonant body sound. And of course, what happens if we take that into the audio range? Another thing we can do, just tangentially, is take the output of the dual universal slope generator, feed it back to itself through the voltage controlled in, and we get slightly different timbres this way. we can take the output and go directly into the voltage controlled frequency of the variable Q. Now we have some more things to play with.
Okay, what else can we do here? Well, we can take this output again, the trigger out, and go over to sample in on the step function generator. We can self cycle the step function generator, and we can now take this. Uh, step function varying uh, control voltages and put it into one, one volt per octave in the variable Q. going. We could also use the, well, let's get another sound in here. Let's take a saw wave out of a precision VCO and uh, see what that's Okay, actually what we can do is take that and have that go into a wave multiplier. In this case that one, have that come out. And we could use the output of the dual universal slope generator. And then we could take the step function so we can get some pitch change. Get sort of. Thank you. 
Okay, so you can see we can go lots of different places. I've been going through this pretty quickly, but slowly turning these and finding universes within a millimeter. And we're back to where we started, just that click. Okay, have fun exploring. Thanks to Phi Synth for the inspiration.